What's up guys, welcome to a sheep's head catch and cook video. I'm gonna show you how to catch a sheep's head, uh, and then we're gonna show you filleting the sheep's head, and then we're gonna show you doing other stuff as well, but Mike just hooked up right now, so. I didn't take long. Ooh, yeah, pretty good. You ready to find the rocks? Yep, that big that's old sheep's head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a giant sheep's head. Let me though. Yeah. yeah, I should probably get on that. That's a good one. <laughs> well, I'd say that's a pretty good way to start a sheep's head catching food video. What do you say? That's a big sheep's head. <laughs> we're out here with Captain Mike. I'll leave all his information in the description below. But yeah, we're basically using Carolina, small Carolina rigs with live shrimp for giant sheep's head like this, fishing a jetty. So if you guys want to go catch sheep's head, I think the best way to do it, live shrimp or like little live crabs, as close to the rocks as you can get it, either from the rocks or if you're on a boat, go out and fish towards the rocks. We're spawning. But oh. man, oh he's all spawned out. Look how skinny but look at he the is. look at the leg. The tail. Tail. She's been fanning. Ooh -wee. That's a big one. Get a couple more of those and then we'll show you guys how we're going to cook them up. At the rig we're using, little egg weight, swivel, 35 pound mono leader to a really small treble hook. And then we're going to be using live shrimp. And we're going to get it as close to the rocks as possible. Well, just realized my mic hasn't been on the whole time, so you guys haven't uh, heard anything. But we've caught some fish. There he is. Oh, another rock. No, that's a fish. There we go. Not that time. Not gonna hit the rock that time. Sheep's head? Yeah, too sheep. Oh, oh it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking good one. Probably the biggest sheep I've ever caught. Oh, that's a good one. Oh! Oh, man. Well, I think you call him the Oh, I got one. That's a... Oh, no! Why are we losing so many of these things, man? That was a pretty big one, yeah. Oh, my God, he smoked it. I saw that one hit. He was a sheep's head. Come off again. Jesus, he's a quick release. As soon as I'm sure he's a sheep head, it's like, he's off. There we go. Now let's try to keep him on this time. No playing around. Right up, right up. Got one. Right up, right up mom. Man. Double up. Double up. Big sheep's head for my dad. <laughs> oh, there's another one. It's, it's, there's another one following him. Here, I'm gonna hook him. I'm gonna catch him. The one following him. Oh God, mayhem, mayhem. <laughs> Come on, woman. <laughs> oh, it's a giant. That's a giant sheep's head. Dad was bigger than mine. Mayhem ensues. <laughs> it's a little one. That's not a little sheep's head. You haven't seen a little sheep's head. Dad's is a giant. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Those are some good sized sheep's head right there. Alright, ready? That's what we're after today, guys. How'd that feel? <laughs> good. Just good? No, great. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, that ain't no redfish, or that ain't no sheep's head. If it is, it's a freaking giant. He smoked it. Oh, it is a sheep's head. <laughs> yeah, he smoked it, though. Oh, it's a good one. No, he's definitely a sheep's head. Unlike you, though, I'm going to keep him. 
can actually land in. I'll let you keep that shrimp there, Mr. Sheep's Head. Alright, calm down, I'll get you back in the water. Stop it. Hey. Whoo. Look at that being. That's what we're after, guys. And they are delicious. And this is a good time of year to get out on jetty and catch them. And they're beautiful. Convict fish. And they're spawning. They're spawning. You can tell by the bloody tail. See ya. Got one? Real. You casted that one yourself too, didn't you? Yep. Sheep said. <laughs> Another sheep said. Good job, mama. All right, guys. Captain Mike is going to show you guys how to fillet these sheep said once you catch them. The knife you're going to want to use to fillet these guys is a strong and sharp knife. I recommend a serrated blade. You don't want a flimsy fillet knife because these guys are tough. The first thing you're going to want to do is come back behind the gill plate and then follow that spine all the way back to the tail. The next step is actually come back up the fish and cut through the rib cage. I usually go around it, but as Mike shows you here, it's a lot quicker to just go straight through the rib cage if you have a sharp enough and a serrated edge knife that can get through it. Uh, so again, you flip it over, you go back behind the gill plate, and then you're going to follow that backbone back. Just follow that spine back, get around that rib cage, go all the way through the fish once you're past the rib cage, and then back through the tail. And then again, you're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna come up and through the rib cage. Again, it's a whole lot quicker than going around it. It's a very efficient way of cleaning these guys. So the next step is you're gonna wanna get that rib cage out of that meat. You wanna get that meat off of the filet. So you just follow the rib cage down and then let the knife do the work. That skin's pretty tough, so it's kinda hard to go through. So you can really just put your knife parallel to the skin and it comes off like butter. All right, now that Captain Mike has filleted them and showed you guys how to fillet them, because I don't really like filleting them, because I usually go around the rib cage, but if you have a really, really sharp knife, you can go through the rib cage like he did. It makes it a lot easier to clean the sheep's head. And like he was saying, they are absolutely delicious. So I'm really glad we got some. Now, how about we head back and we got uh, cooking them for you. I got a pretty cool way of cooking them. If you are familiar with the trout catching trick I did, we're gonna be doing it pretty much exactly the same way as that. Let's head back to the house and let's get to cooking these guys. Alrighty, the first thing we're going to do is clean the fillets, give them a good rinse, get all that crap off of them. Quick rinse on both sides. Alright, with sheep's head you get this really thick red uh, bloodline. You really want to try to cut that out. So when you're going through the fillets, before we actually start cooking with them, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these red lines out. Or at, um, as much of it as possible. You don't want to like leave the, where there's no fillet left but you also, that makes it really fishy. So I recommend trying to cut out as much of the red, the red uh, bloodline as possible. Alrighty guys, so the next step that you're gonna have here is cleaning up the fillets. Like I said, there's bloodlines and there might be some bones left over. So what I like to do, especially, most of the bones are on that bloodline. So I'll just take my knife and I'll just cut that bloodline out. And usually with this, you're left with still a ton of meat and some really, really beefy fillets. And then I just put them in a bowl over here. And uh, what I'm gonna do with that is we're gonna soak them in some milk. You can use buttermilk or milk, soak them for a little while. It takes pretty much a lot of that fishy taste away. Now with pieces like this, you see the bloodline there and there's some bones in there. What I'll also try to do is I save as much meat as possible and I'll make little, uh, little fish nuggets out of these. So, just quick little nuggets like that. So nuggets will come out as well. And then you're only getting rid of that really super red side. And people actually like that. So, you know, if you like red, red fish meat, then you can go ahead and do that as well. I personally cut it out, but uh, that's kind of just personal preference at that point. I'm just using 2% milk, but like I said, you can use buttermilk here. This is really just to try to get any of that really fishy taste out of it, which Sheep's Head doesn't really have much of that fishy taste, especially the way we're going to cook it, but this really just helps soak it all in and uh, 
makes the flavor very, very good. So I'll let that soak. You can, if you're using buttermilk or something, you can let it soak overnight and make it just insane. But we're gonna soak that for probably half an hour, and then we're gonna be ready to start cooking. All right, guys, now that we've melted our butter, I'm gonna go through the steps that you need to cook this fish. If you've been around the channel a while and you've seen that trout catch and cook video from a long time ago, uh, you will have noticed that it's gonna be a very similar recipe, but I love this recipe when fish frying in general and fish in general, and especially for sheep's head, this is my favorite way of cooking them. So it's a little bit of a twist on a normal fried fish. The first layer is actually hush puppy. So you get a layer of hush puppy and then you get a layer of fish fry. It doesn't matter what brand you use, whatever brand you guys enjoy or whatever brand you guys like, but I do an inner layer of hush puppy mix and an outer layer of fish fry and it just gives it a little extra something. Um, so the steps that you're going to take is you're going to take your filet, you're going to go into your melted butter, then you're going to go into your hush puppy mix from your hush puppy mix, once you get a good coating on that, you're gonna go into your egg wash. We use egg whites here, you can use regular eggs, and then you go into your fry, uh, you basically your fry mix, and then you have frying oil in a pan that you have a medium high heat, get it hot, drop your filet in there, and we're gonna start cooking it. Usually about four to five minutes per side, depending on how hot your oil is. But you want a good golden brown on the outside. And then you get that inner layer of hush puppy mix, and it's just, so uh, let's get started cooking. Into the frying pan. Boom! That's gonna be good. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Just flip them. You're looking for a nice golden brown color. They're looking pretty dope. I'm gonna do a quick check to make sure that it is cooked all the way through. It looks pretty good. Oh yeah. First round of fillets done. That's kind of the color you're looking for. And man, do they look dope. All right, guys, it is done. We got a little side of mac and cheese going here. Uh, if you can see the fillet, very well done in the middle. You got a layer of hush puppy and a layer of fish fillet. So, looks awesome. Get a little side of ketchup, cocktail sauce, whatever you guys like using. Little dip, and let's see how it is. is so good so so good i guess that's where we're gonna end this it is so good uh if you guys have been around the channel or like i said the last catch and cook was a very similar recipe the next catch and cook we're gonna give a completely different recipe but this is literally my favorite recipe for sheep's head uh hopefully you guys learned how to go out catch some sheep's head fillet some sheep's head and then eat some sheep said so it was a lot of fun filming this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give a like if you're new around here go ahead and hit that subscribe button for continued fishing content and we'll see you guys next time guys look at look at this oh my god look at this fillet it's so good tell me to toot my own horn but oh my god it's the best fish i've ever made mm.